Hi Gemini, welcome to your end of September general reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, social media links, decks I'm using, tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. Thank you so much to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is greatly appreciated. All your support you give the channel really does mean a lot to me. I love to do this for you guys. So thank you for helping to make the channel grow and I could not do it without you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Gemini, 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 Gemini. Second half of September already. Going into fall already. Hope everybody's doing well. So this is a Zodiac Oracle. If you're familiar with my readings, then you know how this works. Um, you may or may not resonate with whatever comes out here. That is totally fine. Rest of the reading may be for you. If you clicked on the link, and there's probably something there that resonated in the title. So let's see what we get. So what may some Geminis be dealing with or have around them or affecting them in some way? The end of September. So we have a Pisces. So you, this is a general reading. So it could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be a co-worker. You could have Pisces in your chart somewhere or something like that. So however that resonates for you. If not, that's totally fine. Let's see what we get here for the rest of the reading. This is general, like I said, but if you can fit it into any situation in your life, then please feel free. If you can fit it into a love situation, if it applies that way, if it does work out that way, then totally fine. If not, then see what we get here. So let's get an overall message, see what's going on with you. Second half of September. Wow, that's way too many. But I think, uh, okay. We have one for Gemini, one for Gemini for the end of September. Oh, I'm feeling sticky today. I take that one first. Well, we'll take those two. So we have communicating freely. I communicate from the depths of my being. So Gemini, you are an air sign. Air signs are all about truth, clarity, communication, uh, telling it like it is, standing up for yourself, uh, not taking any BS, cutting away things no longer serving you if you need to. That's all with the air energy. And you're communicating freely about something. <laughs> but then you also have, here have starting fresh. A wonderful new beginning is blossoming in my life. And I think I just got this for your last general reading about uh, new beginnings for you. So it's coming out again here. So some sort of new beginnings there for you. And you're communicating freely about it. And then we have coming into power. I step into my power boldly and confidently. So not only are you starting fresh with a new beginning and you kind of see here the yin and yang sing, uh, symbol feeling very balanced, feeling very balanced and feeling like you're coming into your power now and you're very confident and you're communicating clearly. Wow. Like really in your power, I feel the end of September. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Maybe... Maybe this new beginning is like a promotion or a new job where uh, you have more authority or something like that because you see this woman here is kind of like in the light, like the limelight. So maybe you're uh, now a boss or something like that. And of course, you know, you have to communicate being a, a boss or something like that over other people. All right, so let's see what's going on. Oh, I just had a bunch flip here. Oh, one, two. Oh, we got two. So the first one I saw was the Wheel of Fortune, and then you have the Four of Wands. Wow. So let me get one more. Thank you. Holy cow. So <laughs> we have the Wheel of Fortune, and this is Sagittarius energy. It doesn't have to be. So this is fate and destiny. This is the wheel turning in a better direction. This is things going in your favor better luck and timing. So things are moving in the right direction and this is the wheel of destiny here, moving things along for you 
in the right direction as you're starting out into this new beginning, coming into power, communicating, and not only that, but you have the four of wands, so you're feeling very stable and secure in your home life, in your foundation, and being divinely guided again here with the star energy. So I definitely feel like here, because you have coming into power and uh, you see this person like in the light, then you have the star is like divinely guided. She's standing in the bask basking in the light of this divine guidance here with the star energy. Wow, so you're very much being divinely guided along with the star and the wheel of fortune are both divinely guided energy. This is the universe stepping in to move you in the right direction bringing you what's fated and destined in your journey and also guided by the star energy this is faith hope optimism dreams and wishes coming true healing energy wow and not only that feeling very secure and abundant in your home life wow so whatever this new beginning is i feel like here with the four of wands is a lot of um you see the flowers there kind of represent to me growth and abundance in your home life. So whatever this new, um, new, it could be, a, you know, new career or something here where you're have more power, like your higher authority. Now may, maybe you're making more money. So now you're have more growth and abundance in your home life. So let's get more clarity on this for Gemini. Wow. Well, there you go. The ace of wands. One more. Oh, we got two here. All right, so we have the eight, of, uh, the Ace of Wands. So this is Fire Energy, Leo Sagittarius. But this is about a brand new beginning, and then you have a fresh start. So this is a passionate, exciting new beginning, project, endeavor, job, career, um, or something like that. Brand new beginning with the Ace of Wands, feeling very fiery and passionate, determined, go getter kind of energy, and excited. And you're starting fresh. Wow. So you have the Eight of Cups energy. So you definitely could be walking away, could have walked away here from a job or something here that was not fulfilling for you at all. Eight of Cups water energy here, and that's the Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So, um, you know, for some of you, if this is a love situation, maybe you're leaving a Pisces. Um, or maybe you had a Pisces that was a boss to you and now you're walking away from that and you're going to something else, starting fresh. Then you also have the moon here, which is Cancer Pisces. So this is all about um, illusions, not seeing things clearly, secrets, um, needing to know all the facts. So, and you see the moon right here back here too so i feel like whatever you're walking whatever you walked away from but you're walking to because this is an energy of leaving something not fulfilling but walking to something more fulfilling here but you have the ace of wands which is very passionate fiery energy so whatever you didn't know about what you're walking to i feel like this ace of wands really shed light onto everything that you needed to know in this new um, endeavor, um, adventure, project, job, whatever it was for you. I really feel like here the light of this Ace of Wands really shone down here and it guided you in the right direction and showed you everything you needed to know moving forward. All the facts you needed to know. If that makes sense. All right, so let's see. Wow. Let's see what your actual situation is now for Gemini. We end. It's too many. I want like three at the most for Gemini. One, two, three. Ask and you shall receive. Oops. So we have the Seven of Swords. That's your energy. Uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have the Four of Cups. Water energy again. And the Ten of Swords. Wow. So this pretty much explains the whole thing here. The Seven of Swords can be an energy of kind of being sneaky, sneaking away, just having to get away, and you don't really care how you do it. You know, when you do it, you just, you know, it can be also someone that maybe was not trustworthy around you, 
you know, maybe whatever environment you were in before, there was a lot of trickery, deceit, sneakiness among your coworkers, things of that nature that left you kind of like disenchanted and bored and just blah, like you just did not want to be there anymore because of all that energy. This, you know, Four of Cups energy is not really being happy or sad, just kind of like bored and contempt and blah and just ugh, kind of energy. So here's the ending, Ten of Swords, your energy. Deciding here to just end it. Can be a per uh, hurtful, painful ending. Or just knowing that this is no longer serving me. I'm bored. I'm in contempt. I'm just feeling blah. There's no growth expansion. There's too much of this backstabbing, gossip, uh, trickery crap going on. And I'm just like done with it. So here I am done. I'm like, I'm done of being stabbed in the back too many times by my coworkers, you know. So deciding just to end that situation. Ending... Ending, ending that crap. All right, so let's get some clarity. Let's get some clarity, a couple cards of clarity on that situation, on your actual situation here, Gemini. I mean, this is your energy. Hopefully you weren't being in that Seven of Swords energy, but I'm not really getting that. And one, two. All right, so we have the five of wands. Again, with the conflict, conflict, backstabbing, um, trickery, you know, lies, you know, all kind of this like blech energy wherever you were, just not, not a good energy at all. Here, so seven of pentacles. So I feel like, you know, you were just kind of waiting it out, you know, should I stay, should I go? Not really taking any action. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is just waiting for your crops to bloom. So it's just a waiting game. Uh, nothing's really happening. It's just being like waiting and being bored and like not seeing the growth. I mean, it's there, but you know, you felt like I can climb higher to the ladder of success whether, rather than just being down here and being bored and just waiting, waiting, waiting here. So yeah, I definitely feel like you didn't feel like there was going to be any more growth or expansion where you were. Too much negative energy around you. Just feeling very bored and too much backstabbing among uh, those around you. So you just decided it was time just to end that situation and leave that situation and stop fresh. All right. So let's get your advice moving forward for the end of... September. A couple cards for your advice. Spirit, thank you so much. One. Two. Nope, that's three. I'll take this one. So, wow. <laughs> well, your advice is the three of swords and the five of cups. Wow. So this is not good energy. Um, If you have not moved on yet from this toxic energy, but you're thinking of it, I do see some sort of start fresh for you, uh, a fresh start for you, you know, whatever that may be, because the divine wheel here is bringing it, bringing in along with the star to bring you better security and state, you know, stable energy into your life. But there's a need here to walk away from this. To have your new beginning. So if you haven't done that, you're going to remain in this energy of feeling heartbroken, stabbed in the heart, stabbed in the back, feeling sad and just blah, wherever you are now. You're going to continue in this energy if you don't move on, is what I'm getting here from this situation. You're just going to remain. Do you want to remain in this energy of the swords in your heart and your back, feeling sad and, you know, crying? You know, how could this person have done this or stabbed me or hurt me, betrayed me? All right. So let's get a couple more cards to clarify your advice. Spirit, please. A couple more cards. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Okay, that one wanted to flip. I'm going to take this one. 
So we have the Two of Cups and the Six of Wands. So exactly. So whatever this offer is coming in or comes into you, I think it, the Two of Cups energy is about you know unity, people coming together, uh, people that think alike, uh, like-minded people. Um, you know, it can be friendship. It can be anything here. But it's divinely guided again. Again, so it's unity between two people who see eye to eye. And this, you know, and if you accept this, that comes in for you, it's meant for you with the Two of Cups energy, you'll be very victorious here with the Six of Wands, that fire energy being accomplished and victorious and successful. If you accept this divinely united energy that is meant for you, that the wheel and the star is bringing into you. It could be a friend with an opportunity or something like that coming and offer you something. But I see success and victory there. So let's get possible outcome for you, Sagittarius. So we have the Seven of Wands, fire energy. So this is being defensive and on guard, um, you know, standing up for yourself, you know, fighting for what is yours, fighting for yourself, standing up for yourself. I feel like in this energy here, you're constantly, wherever you are now or wherever, wherever you moved on from, you were constantly like standing up for yourself. You're like on guard, looking over your shoulder, like what's going to happen next. So, you know, Spirit is saying here, if you remain where you are in this energy, you're constantly going to be in this energy of being on guard, defensive, stand, having to stand your ground all the time against these people, causing this pain in your heart and sadness and maybe shedding tears and crying at night over all the crap. Wow. Wow. Strong messages coming through for you, Gemini. So let's get a couple clarifications for your actual situation. For your possible outcome. I don't know, I'm kind of tongue-tied here. All right, a couple clarifiers for your one. Two. Wow. So we have the five of pentacles and we have the nine of wands. So, you know, again, this is the wounded warrior, but the wounded warrior here who keeps on fighting. It's about endurance, willpower, strength. Even though you've been through it, you keep fighting and persevering on. It's about, all about endurance and perseverance. But then you've got the five of pentacles. So this is, you know, feeling abandoned and left out in the cold. It could be a monetary lack or worry here also. And this is, you know, work-related. But if you see here, it kind of reminds me of the Wheel of Fortune, which is right here. So it is working for you in the background here, but you have to keep fighting on and moving on moving on. I just said that out of nowhere. Moving on. Really, you have to move on so that you can light up all these five pentacles and get this wheel turning so that you can move on. So you don't have to be in this stance forever where you are now. You may have to leave that out in the cold and abandon whatever situation you are in now so that you can move on with determination. All right, Gemini, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for you. The tower, exactly. Aries energy here. This is very, I feel like in this situation, it could be very, maybe there's a lot of, like I said, you got the five of wands over here, a lot of conflict where you are now, a lot of this like kind of energy wherever you are now. <laughs> Not good energy, like very, I don't want to say explosive, but could be just arguments and backstabbing and all kind of, toxic energy but here's the emperor so you know this is taking control being in charge and being that boss being of higher authority here so you can have this energy of being in control in charge of your life moving on taking on a more um in charge type of role so now you have the Hermit, which is Virgo. So I think you're going to think about it. You know, whatever offer may come into you, you know, you may think about it here, about this fresh start, and realize that you can come into power because you have coming into power and fresh start. So some, tower, some kind of tower moment may come in also. 
along with the wheel and the star to move you in the right direction after you, you know, do some inner journey work and realize it's time to move on. There's too much mental entrapment where you are, too much uh, trickery and deceiving energy, you know, and maybe feeling mentally trapped about moving on or leaving or starting something new. But, you know, you have the Three of Cups here. So this is good times and rejoicing and reuniting. So I feel like, and you can manifest this brand new beginning. And I think it will bring more joy, harmony, peace, and good times into your life. I think it will be, you'll have like better co-workers to work with, with the Three of Cups energy. And you can manifest this new beginning as you start fresh. So it's all here. It's up to you what you want to do. Oh, I don't even see that death card there. So again, the death card here is like the Ten of Swords, ending this toxic situation. It's having a new beginning. It's much more harmonious, you know, manifesting that brand new beginning. So I could keep going, but I'll be here forever. So, yep, getting out of the mental blockage as you think and consider everything here. That you can do it. You can be this emperor energy. And you can leave this toxic energy. And start fresh. You can come into your power. You can communicate freely and clearly. Alright. So. Alright. So Gemini. Gemini. Let's get a little, a little bit more here. A few more messages. With the Moonology deck. For you, Gemini, for the end of September. What else do we have for Gemini? Oh, that's too many. Wait. Okay, that one wants to stick. Okay, so we have hold your vision, fixed moon. So this is telling you, you know, after you do your inner journey work and you envision yourself that you can do it, you can be that emperor, you can start fresh, you, you can come into your power and communicate freely and openly and hold that vision and stay fixed on that vision and you can do it moving forward. Wow, okay. So what else do we have for Gemini? We have adjustments are required, third quarter moon, exactly. You're not feeling complete where you are now because look at this, if you move on, that's a full moon. That's a full moon. Hold your vision for your for your fulfillment for this full moon. You're not fulfilled where you are now. Adjustments are required exactly with this starting fresh, coming into power, communicating, and that new um, role that you may take. Anything else for Gemini? Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. So, you know, Taurus, I mean, that's what, February? No. <laughs> that is uh, March, right? End of March, April, end of April, end of May. Sorry. So you may be in your full glory here. Uh, and you see this is like a new moon kind of energy. It is new moon in Taurus. So you may have this complete new beginning for you starting uh, in the new moon in Taurus. Or you just started this new journey in the Taur Taurus season that just passed, was earlier this year, however that re resonates for you. But prosperity lies ahead, because you did have the Four of Wands here. All right, anything else for Gemini? <laughs> Communication is key, new moon in Gemini. I have three cards sticking out, and Spirit was trying to guide me to the right one, and it was this one. Communication is key. Communication. New moon in Gemini. So you have two new moons here. You have starting fresh. You have the Ace of Wands for that passionate brand new beginning. Wow. And what do we have on the bottom of the deck? Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Exactly. You want to head north. You want to reach for the stars. You want to move upward. Stepping out of your comfort zone. So if you think you can't be in that emperor energy and be a boss or whatever or higher authority than you've ever been, it's time now to step out of your comfort zone. Hold that vision for your fulfillment. 
and you can do it because the energy you're in now is just not a good place and you'll you'll forever be in this energy and having to be like this so uh don't think you want that but you know it's up to you gemini i mean you have free will you can do what you want but i see moving on is the best thing for you if you're in this type of situation right now Okay, Gemini, if this didn't resonate for you, you can check the playlist below in the description box and maybe past readings will resonate for you. I do consider them all, time, all timeless, even though there are dates on them. So if you find a title that resonates for you, I'd say go ahead, watch it anyway. And if you do like my style, you like how I read, please do uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, two separate readings. So it's four readings a month for every sign, so don't miss out on that. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.